All right, let's solve the following problem for x. So first thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to find the common denominator. On the right side of the equation, x squared minus 4 is different of perfect squares, which reduces down to x minus 2, x plus 2. So this looks like it's going to be my common denominator. So on the left side, I'm going to have 4 times x minus 2 plus 1 times x plus 2. And all this is going to be over the common denominator x minus 2, x plus 2. And we'll have 5x minus 6 over x minus 2, x plus 2. So they have a just same common denominator. I can get rid of that. And we end up with 4x minus 8 plus x plus 2 equals 5x minus 6. Combine like terms, 5x minus 6 equals 5x minus 6. Uh-oh. So it looks like <clears throat> this is identical. So this is just, yeah, what ha this is like a fractional de decomposition in a way. So basically, this well, this just means 1 equals 1. So that means um, if we were to combine the left side of the equation together, um, well, we get, I mean, there's no value for x that makes us, well, any value for x works for this. If we were to add the left side of the equation together, we'd get the right side. So there's no intersection. It's just the same equation, just under one common denominator. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.